What's up, Honda fans? I'm Honda Laura, and today we have an awesome video for you. We have the classic 2016 Honda CRV versus the all new redesigned 2017 Honda CRV. So let's get it going. As always, we'd like to say thank you to Herb Chambers Honda of Seacon for letting us take out the new and the old CRVs. The 2017 Honda CRV is a full redesign, so as you can notice, it is completely different. These two vehicles are the EXL models, and they have a price difference of $600 from the old jumping up to the new. So now let's start off with the exterior features. Starting off with the front end, the 2016 CRV along with the 2017 both are going to feature the LED daytime running lights. The 17 is going to feature them on the LX model as well, which is exciting. Both have chrome filled grills with a lot of black shiny plastic and accents. So the overall appearance of the front end of the new 17 CRV. It to me seems like a mashup of like a miniaturized pilot and an HRV where it's like a flat snub nosed grill. It's a little bit boxier and truck like. Both cars are going to feature the LED daytime running lights, projector beam halogen headlights and fog lights. The 17 actually has the LED daytime running lights on the LX which is pretty exciting. Down along the side, our previous 16 CRV features 17 inch alloy wheels. The new 17 features 18 inch alloy wheels, which are a really cool new design. The 17 is going to feature the turn signal indicators on the mirrors. They are both going to feature moon roofs, and the 16 has the roof rails. The 17 does not. The 16 has the lane watch which is the camera mounted on the right hand mirror which gives you a view of your blind spot all the way down the side of the car. Something that I have not been able to live without. The 17 however supersedes that. It features the blind spot information system so anytime the car senses any sort of oncoming car in your blind spot it gives you an alert and a, uh, a visual and auditory alert that somebody is in your blind spot to not move over. So it, it is really awesome because it's actually only something that was featured on very high trim levels on all of our Honda cars and now it's on something like an EX and an EXL which is really cool. The smart entry system is still featured on the 17. It is actually revamped so instead of the little plastic button that you push to lock everything there is no button it's just a built-in sensor that's on the top of the door handle. Also this new smart entry system features the remote engine start which to me is invaluable living in this New England climate and the auto walk away function which is just as soon as the key gets a certain distance away the cars automatically lock on you so you don't even have to remember to touch any sensor which is something that's really cool. Now that leads us to the back ends the 16 CRV something that I really like that they added when they did like a little revamp on the CRVs in the previous generation was they put those silver colored skid plates on the front and the back. I was a real big fan of those. I like how they look. So that's featured here and then the chrome spanning the width of the tailgate. The new remodel features a power lifting tailgate and a tailgate spoiler and LED light bars all along the back. Both of them feature backup cameras. The overall appearance of the rear end of the new 17 redesign I was pointed out that it sort of looked like a little bit like a Volvo and a RAV4 mixed together. I, I personally, I like it. I think it looks really nice. Um, now let's take a look under the hood. The previous generation CRV featured a 2.4 liter four cylinder IV Tech engine with the direct fuel injection and it yields 185 horsepower. Had a CVT transmission and it produced 25 city, 31 highway and a combined of 27 miles per gallon. Under the hood of the new redesigned 2017 Honda CR-V features an engine similar to the one showcased on the 2016 Civic. It's a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine 
which produces 190 horsepower, five better than the previous generation. It also has the CVT engine and it has fuel economy that's two miles per gallon better all around. The excitement of the new 2017 Honda CRV does not stop on the exterior. Let's take a look at all of the awesome tech. We are going to briefly go through what is standard on the 2016 Honda CRV. If you want to go in depth, you can click on the video at the end of this video and you can go through the entire CRV and see what comes standard. Behind the wheel of this CRV that we are sitting in, the 2016 EXL. You will see leather wrapped steering wheel, leather seats, lots of really nice shiny wood grain with chrome accents, lots of chrome accents throughout. I very much enjoy the layout of this generation CRV because I do drive it personally, so I am very comfortable behind the wheel. It features a large analog speedometer with your information display, miles per gallon, fuel range outside temperature, maintenance finder system. Steering wheel controls, music, iMid screen, headlights, windshield wipers, mirrors, door locks, econ button. The multi-information display is basic, minimal, just the information that you need. Your touchscreen display features hands-free link, current drive information, audio featuring Bluetooth streaming and a 90-day XM radio trial, which is something that I really enjoy. Honda Link Connect that was featured in this generation CRV with the HDMI cables. I am not a big fan of, but they did correct that in the 17. Very nice layout of the center console, cup holders. I like this whole set of gear. Lots of space for all of your belongings, lots of compartments in the doors, moonroof, can't live without it. The EXL model also has the auto dimming rear view mirror. That's something I am a big fan of. Now let's take a look at the back seats and cargo space. The back seat of this CRV is very spacious. It is a little bit uncomfortable. The seats are a little hard, but they are pretty functional and they fold down with that one quick motion. The one, so I, I can excuse the comfort of them for the functionality of them. And like I said, it is very spacious. There's 104.1 cubic feet of passenger volume in the CRV. And there's pockets. And rear vents, that's very important to people. Rear vents for the climate control so air can come back here, very important. Now let's take a look at the cargo space. The cargo area of the CRV is very spacious. I would know I fit many boxes of clothes back here. With the seats folded up, there is 37.2 cubic feet of cargo space back here. So the my favorite thing about the cargo area is going to be the one touch seat release. So you don't have to like run around the side of the car, release the seats, it's one touch, it's very easy. And then there's 70.9 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats folded down. And also any EX models and higher come with the cargo cover, which if you do a lot of shopping, and you have a lot of belongings back there, you can cover it so that nobody sees it. Now we're gonna get into the brand new CRV. We are now behind the wheel of the 2017 Honda CRV. We are going to do a brief overview and go through all of the major components. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth review, stay tuned, we will have one coming very soon. So starting off with the overall appearance, it is awesome so cozy in here. Like I was hoping, they took a lot of the cues from the new redesigned 2016 Honda Civic and they brought it through here, which was just phenomenal, a amazing design. The first thing that you see is the high res gauge cluster. It is awesome, bright, colorful, lots of different displays. You can use it all from your steering wheel controls right up front here, love it. Another amazing thing that they did was they put on EX models and higher Honda Sensing Standard. The coolest thing ever. Adaptive Cruise Control Lane Keeping Assist, Road Departure Mitigation and Collision Mitigated Braking System. All standard on EX models and higher. Another amazing thing that they did was they put the new display audio system in here with the CarPlay and Android Auto. The best thing that Honda has developed 
The new Honda Link Connect is also in here. They have made it connectable with your phone so you can have a little bit more connectivity with your smartphone and the car for any in-car tech support, recall, roadside assistance, stuff like that. The climate control system is also the same. That's something that they kind of fumbled with, I think, because they have that climate button and you have to go in to change some of the things, but still works very quick and responsive, so I do like it. Another thing that they did was really cool that they put a volume knob in, so that's something that I think they listened to the people about. The overall cargo space, cup holder area, center console is really cool. I kind of liked the other one. It was, this one is deeper, has a lot more storage space, but the other one was kind of like, I don't know, more like localized. All your stuff was right there. You didn't have to fish down into like a, into like a well, like the, before they did a revamp on the 16 CRVs. I think it was actually the 2014 had that well with that thing. So that was kind of eh. Anyways, I think that my favorite thing about this new 2017 CRV has to be the seats. This is the most comfortable Honda seat I have ever sat in in my entire life. I love it. So overall, I can't wait to get my 2017 Honda CRV. Now let's check out back seats. I was wondering, this is my first time sitting in the back seat of this CRV, and the back seats are almost just as comfortable as the front seats. Oh my God, they are so comfortable. I can't, you have to sit in here and experience it. So overall, this car is actually a little bit bigger than the old one, so the passenger volume, there's actually almost two more full inches of passenger volume and it's so spacious and bright and comfortable. There's a lot of this awesome wood grain throughout. It's like a matte wood grain, really cool. There is speakers in the door, totally cool. Air vents and USB adapters in the back. They charge, awesome. People always ask, is there USBs in the back seat of the CRV? And I'm like, no, sorry, you gotta go like into the front. And you have two back there. That's awesome for like your kids back here. So cool, charging devices. Now let's take a look at the cargo space on this one. Awesome. So the cargo space, in the new 2017 CRV, there's actually almost five cubic feet more cargo space in the new one than the old one. So I think it's awesome. It also has all the same things that we were talking about in the other one, the one touch seat and the cargo cover. Hmm. Goes up and around instead of that one goes down and around, so hmm. cool. Awesome. And that was our comparison video with the 2016 Honda CRV and the new redesigned 2017 Honda CRV. As time moves forward, everything evolves and just gets better. And as somebody that drives the previous generation CRV, I for one am super excited to get into the new CRV as soon as my lease is up on the other one. <sighs> Uh, don't forget to like this video and leave us a comment. I always read all of them. Subscribe to our channel, Herb Chambers Honda of Seekonk. And I'm Honda Laura, and I'll see you next time. Ugh.